Hi all, Rogblood here. So you've recently just watched the Cyberpunk Edge Runner series and you've now came to Cyberpunk 2077 and you want to be just like David Martinez. So today I'll be bringing you a build that is based around what David would be like in the game if he was in the 2077 world. Now with this build there is better builds out there that focus solely on the San Devastan and some attribute point allocation could be better here but I've made it work and we'll go over the points that could be redistributed. So going off with my build, we've got 20 in body, 20 in reflexes, 12 in tech, 16 in cool and 3 in intelligence. Now for a perfect build, you'd be looking at 20 in reflexes, 18 in body, 18 in tech, and then rest spread out however you'd like between cool and intelligence, depending on what points you want. The main reason for that is because the 18 points in tech would allow you to get the <clears throat> Edge Runner Artisan, which allows you to create legendary mods, which you'll be able to craft the cooldown mods for the San Devastan, reducing its overall cooldown by 12 seconds. However, I went the opposite direction, I went into cool, um, mainly for the fact that I wanted to use the Synaptic Accelerator. Then I realised that doesn't work with the San Devastan, they run off the same cooldown. So if the Synaptic Accelerator goes off first, which gives you around about 6 seconds worth of slowdown time. It gives you a minute cooldown. During that minute cooldown, you cannot use your Sand, sand Devastan and vice versa. So going into it, we've got 20 in body. We're going to go into the athletic skills. So this is how I've got my perk points out at the moment. This will change depending on your play style. Um, but this is what I've gone with. So we've gone with Invincible, the Rock, Steel Shell, Tenacious, Indestructible, Steel and Chrome, Regeneration, Pack Mule, Epimorphosis, True Grit, Wolverine, Multitasker, Like a Butterfly, Dog of War, Marathoner, and Cardio Cure. Now we don't put any points in Annihilation, I've just got one here just so we deal more damage the faster you're moving, just because of the high reflexes, but you don't actually need to put anything in Annihilation. That all depends on how you actually want to play the build. Then we'll go on to Street Brawler and we go Rush, Crush and Blows, Opportune Strike, Thrash, Frenzy, Flurry, Payback, Dazed, Reinvigorate, and Unshakable. And that's the points that we spend in the body tree. Reflexes, the only thing that we're going to be spending points for in here is handguns. Because other than using his fists, David uses pistols. Now, you can just focus on using melee and dump these points elsewhere, but we've gone for High Noon, OK Coral, Attritional Fire, Rain Power, Wild West, Rio Bravo, Longshot Drop Pop, Desperado, Fistful of Euro Dollars, Westworld, Snowball Effect, and Let's Punch. And that's the only points that were spent in the Reflex Tree. Then going into Tech, I don't think I put any points here, so it doesn't matter, but if we did and we went with the 18 tech we'd definitely be picking up the edge runner artisan in cool we've gone with some in the ninjutsu tree so from the shadows hasty retreat hidden dragon and assassin and in the cold blood we want the cold blood so cold blood passive blood brawl coagulant and pain is an illusion i've not put any points in intelligence and i've not actually put any attribute points there either so if we get into the cyber itself, the main thing that we are running is the Sand Devastan itself. This one you can get from the Wellsprings Ripper Dock in Haywood. Now we are running the Militech Falcon Sand Devastan Devastan Mark V. You can use the Quaint Sand Devastan, which has a much lower cooldown. But again, this is a David build, not a pure Sand Devastan build. David runs a military spec, Sandavistan, Militech and Arasaka are the military providers in the game. Arasaka don't make a Sandavistan, therefore we default to the Militech variant. Militech only make the Mark V Falcon, so that's what we're running. So it gives you 30% for 18 seconds and the cooldown is 54.5, that's actually higher. But we're running two heat sinks on there. So we've got a blue one reducing cooldown by 3 seconds and a green one reducing by 2.5 seconds and then I've got the <clears throat> Arasaka mod which allow, it takes enemies 70% more time to actually notice you whilst your sand of stands active 
which means that you can do more stealth kills, etc. if you're that way inclined. Ideally, if we had the 18 points in tech, these would just be four legendary heat sinks, reducing the cooldown by 12 seconds, allowing we we'll use that sand of a stand more often. If I remember correctly, if you use the Queen Sand of a stand with the three heat sink cooldowns, you can pop your sand of a stand roughly every two or three seconds. So if you do want a more pure sand of a sand build, that's the one that you want to be going for. But like I said, we're going to go for more of a David build, and we're going to be chucking some other mods on there that just fits the playstyle itself. So firstly, in the frontal cortex, we've got heal on kill. The mechatronic core, and then in the ocular system, obviously all you can put here is the Karoshi optics, so we've got the Mark III. In the circulatory system, we've gone sin lungs. Um, David actually gets this in the anime, you see him get it installed on the rip table. So it, that one is a, a, a definite along with the sand of a stand. Then we've gone with second heart, again he shows constantly that he gets knocked down and comes back up, so the instant 100% just makes sense. And then we've gone bioconductor just to help with the cooldowns, it allows us to use that sand of a stand a little bit more often. In the immune system we've gone pain editor to reduce incoming damage in catharsis to increase resistance by 35% just to make ourselves a little bit more tanky. Now with the nervous system, since earlier I said that we can't use the synaptic accelerator, we've got reflex tuner and the Karenzikov because these don't share the cooldown and allow us to slow down time when we're half drops below 25% and when we slide and aim. So you can slide, aim, get the 3.5 seconds worth of slow, then pop the sand of stand straight away giving you an increased time of having slowdown. Then in the integumentary system we've just gone with everything because my build allows it so we've got the subdermal armor, the optical camel and the heat converter. In the skeleton we've got the synaptic signal optimizer just to increase health again making ourselves more tanky. The micro rotors to increase attack speed we will be predominantly using melee rather than pistol or anything like that so the attack speed is definitely wanted here and the hands you can choose whatever you want here I've just got smart link just in case I do use a smart pistol but the arms you can go one of two ways here um, David gets the big metal hands off main which coincides with the gorilla arms however he's also seen using a projectile launcher now in the game you can't use gorilla arms and the projectile launcher it's one or the other but since I'm predominantly going to be using Mainly, I'll be going with the gorilla arms and then finally for the legs we've got reinforced tendons so we can double jump and um, David has a high jump in the anime which you can only kind of get that height in game with the reinforced tendons so we kind of have to go for that one so the key ones for the build is going to be focused around the sand Everstan, the sin lungs and the reinforced tendons and the gorilla arms they're going to be four main cyberware and the rest you can pretty much pick and choose out whatever you want to feel with your playstyle. So I'll leave you with some contents with everything on hard mode um, and then you can actually see what the build is like in action. If you like the content don't forget to give me a like and if you want to see more content like this in the future just leave a comment and let me know. Um, I will be leaving a quick little guide in the description just going over the points that you need and where you can pick up all these um, cyberware from each ripper dock in their exact locations so you can set, head straight there and you don't have to worry about what you actually need and until next time I've been Rogue Blood.